Right! Happy New Year, guys! I know it's been a while since I've done anything, but it's Acceleracer's news and a little bit of Hot Wheels news. I think you're going to be excited for this one. 20th anniversary of World Race, 18th anniversary of Ignition. There's just so much to get into, so why don't we just get into it, shall we? Yeah, shall we? Also, Porkchop's mom. I don't know what's going on. Let's go. So like I said, uh, yeah, it is the 20th anniversary of Hot Wheels World Race. I know some of y'all are going to be like, well, it's not the day. Too bad. It doesn't matter if it's the day or not, guys. It's the year. It's the year. Just focus on the year. So I made this little uh, 35th anniversary, or <laughs> 20th anniversary Hot Wheels World Race uh, emblem thing. So yeah, I'll probably put that on the t-shirt and release that later so that y'all can have this and uh, celebrate this year um, right now, sponsor! Hey guys, this is a quick ad because my friends Acceleron Customs sent me something really, really cool. Um, you can follow them on Instagram and their eBay page, Acceleron Customs. And what he sent me is really, really cool. Um, so the necklace, very long. Um, the T, right, the T is rounded on one side flat on the other side it's the bead chain so that bead chain is like that um y'all know these these are pretty cheap but you know it works and honestly for only 20 bucks on ebay it's pretty pretty good value honestly if i had to say so myself now the connector is the same as a bead connector if y'all don't know how these work um basically you snap the bead in and out um, so if you wanted to, you could technically um, just cut some of the beads. Now, I wouldn't do that because I'm not too sure how that makes it flimsy or not. Um, but if you do cut it, you know, it would have to be at the end of the bead. So because that bead slots in and then it connects, right? So it is super cool. And honestly, it's one of the coolest pieces I think that I now have in the custom world. I mean, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> How cool is this? So now you can look like a dead tone or an alive Nolo. Yeah, you should definitely check them out. Acceleron Customs. Go follow. Go subscribe. Go buy this thing. What are you doing already? Go buy it. This is for tone. Get out of here. And in the light of said sponsor, we can't let it go. I know we can't let it go. Um, this is an amazing meme by Headseat4215. I love it. The Don Toretto versus Nolo. We still can't let it go, baby. We can't let it go. Acceleron Customs, there you go. You get to see even more photos of it. I think he's he's only got two more of the figures. I think he actually might be sold out of these by the time I make this video. So, you know, that's just his what it is. And here's another fun Accelo Charger. More Accelo Charger news. Uh, there's a Lego version. It's pretty neat. And then, oh, you gotta check this out. Dude, this is crazy. This is JMS BD07. He made a custom Accela charger with an LCD screen. Look at this. This is absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I can't get enough of this. Like, you can change it. It even does the little... Psh, 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 psh. That's so cool. And you can even change the type. So, it's crazy that it fits almost the same size as, as this. Almost. I think it's bigger just a bit bigger if I'm if I'm comparing my hand so yeah it, it's really cool though I mean look at that that's just really really cool um, the water realm everything about that is super cool amazing job JMS I know it's been a month again I know it's been a while since I've actually just done a video and not a podcast episode um, this is crazy this is amazing news uh, so this is I'll say I'll say the director's name. This is Andrew Duncan. Um, he messaged someone on Twitter and or responded to someone on Twitter, and they asked about the fifth movie or something like that. And he said, "Yes, that's me. Glad you liked the show. It was a lot of fun to work on. There was a plan for four more movies, but Mattel canceled after the first four. We were going to meet Pork Chop's mum, Mama Chop, but that's all about I can remember." That's that's amazing, actually. Imagine imagine seeing Porkchop's mom. Mama Chop! 
Uh, that's hilarious. Uh, that's that's pretty funny that that's canon. Though. Well, I say canon, but really it's it's just where they might have taken the story, um, since it never got made. It's not really canon. Uh, but you know that's very interesting, very intriguing. So uh, thank you to director of Accelerators for revealing this information. Not only did we get to learn just now that there was a season two plan for four more movies, but that there was like just a new character called Mama Chop, which would have been really cool to see. So but it's too bad that this never came to fruition, but hey, it is what it is. So I think I think fans are going to really like that. Um, some art. Thought I'd show some art off. Uh, just a Sonic fan. I think you already know her. She's amazing. I'll seg. Uh, one of my members. Shout out. Uh, I'm going to pass you an amazing anime edition. We have this hilarious Dr. Tesla, Spiffy Von Snez. I love it. And Dr. Tesla after blowing every fuse in North America. Oh well. And then uh, Patrick908, I like this because I like this scene. This is one of my favorite scenes in the movie. Vulcan Vugan and the Fog Realm fa uh, fan film is getting even more work done. This is just a screenshot. This is uh, Vulcan Vugan, JMS BD07, who we showed earlier. General Kenobi, who I think did this entire thing. Y'all have heard him before on this. Uh, Sav as well. So yeah. Let's go to the little... This is crazy, right? I can't believe I haven't reacted to this yet, but I've, I've seen it, of course. And this is, I'm muting it right now because um, it's copyrighted. Uh, I don't know why he used copyrighted music in it. I, you know, what? whatever. Anime, right? But really, really cool stuff. I mean, this is just, this is super amazing. Seriously, guys. Y'all are, are killing it out there for this. So... I just don't know what else to say. Um, you can go watch this. I don't want to watch the full thing. Maybe I'll do a trailer reaction at some point. I haven't yet. But it's sort of just... I just wanted to show that off. This this is amazing work by these guys. And they totally deserve every uh, every little bit. Even Vulcans at 11k. Nice. So let's go on. There's uh, some more 3D modeling. Thought I'd show those off. Post Skyline. Nice. Um, here is the next, next podcast. You should definitely check it out. Metro Metrics. And here's a great podcast you should listen to. Brian Benedict, you already know him. Head of Hot Wheels. Does a bunch of stuff with Acceleracers as well when he came in. Good little podcast episode. I've linked that down below as well. Um, he talks about one of his favorites, Mad Splash, which is also one of my favorites. I love it. It's, you know, it's the classic, like, like Hydroplane, except it actually works on the track. So, um, amazing podcast. You should definitely check it out. Uh, also check out my podcast again. So, and then there was a interesting Latin American April Fool's Day joke um, talking about Accelerators back in the mainline. Are you ready to accelerate Innocent Collector from Alseg? She posted this, I think this is from a Facebook or something. Um, but basically, yeah, apparently they're really mean um, over there. They, they will, they're worse than I am about reverb in How Was Unleashed, so basically. And then here's a great uh, trailer edit from J and Z Productions, you should definitely check this out. Uh, just very, very cool, very fun. Um, check it out. Yeah, J and Z Productions. They did the a really good Speed Racer video as well, so check that out. And here is another great thing that's happening. Um, this is the Hot Wheels card game made by Cobalt Sanderson. This is out. So what he's done now, you can watch um, my live stream of this, which we actually went into detail, sort of how. Mm, how the card game works and operates because I didn't know how it worked um, but he's running a tournament and at the tournament there is a prize the top four will each win the opportunity to work with Cobalt to create a card of their own design to be included as a promo in the next update first place however will also receive a Hot Wheels Accelerators Nitrium to add their collection which will be posted to their address the dates will be announced soon, expected to be the same day as World Race Unleashed Race, so we know people are already online. Just a couple hours later, message Cobalt Sanderson on Discord for any questions, which I will include below for clarification. So, if you want to join this, read over these rules. I've linked them down below. I've linked this down below. So, make sure to read these rules carefully. It's very fun, actually. It doesn't look like it's... It's very different, but it's also really fun. Um... It's not the same as the ARCCG. This is just a, a very simplified version, and it, it is quite fun. I'm telling you, it is quite fun. I played it for over two hours, so it's definitely, definitely a good time. 
And now, so there's some news that has been happening while I've been editing this video. Um, Afterburner by Blue Saiyan and the crew is now released with four realms. So if you want to play some uh, Roblox Hot Wheels Acceleracers, you can now. It is online and available. Here is their Twitter, Afterburner underscore ABR. They say there are some bug fixes they are working on. And there's the Lava Realm, there's some teasers they were sending out. So, go check it out um, if you're interested in Afterburner. I've talked about it before, but yeah, well, let's move on. Um, next is this Rift Rally thing. Um, it's basically, I'll talk about it more later, but it's the Mario Kart Live. It's made by the same people except iPhone, iPad, and PlayStation 4 or 5 instead of Nintendo Switch. Um, 140 different Hot Wheels cars. Um, I'll react to this later. Here's the exclusive Cinna that comes with the box. Uh, this is the actual thing. It looks like it comes with different skins, I guess, in the game. Um, people are probably... If you're buying this $150 for this, I... I... I concern for you. Especially for a Hot Wheels Premium that's $5. Does it look cool? I guess. I don't... I'm not a supercar guy, so... I don't really care. My big issue is this. Dior 2, right? Dior 2. I love the Dior 2. Everyone loves the Dior 2. Um... It's the Forza version, it looks like, except for, like, one problem, and that's the, um, we can't get any wins with the Dior 2 without it also being a loss, can we? We just can't win, like, just straight win, you know? <laughs> it's this version without surfboards! This one didn't come with surfboards, so why are you giving it delivery with surfboards? Because you can see the cutoff! You can see the cutoff right there. It, it, it. We're going to move on. Again, Hot was Unleashed made the mistake of doing the wrong version of Dior 2. And now we have this version of Bone Shaker and stuff. I'll react to this later. It's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm not going to get too much into it. In other news, we have Neon Speeders, a new line. Um, the only reason I bring it up is because the wheels look a little bit similar to the Dior 2 wheels from... Uh, Acceleracers, it looks like they wanted to do those and then didn't. And I'm a little bit like, oh well, I guess, you know. I guess these would be what we get on a Teku Eyes Dior 2. I feel like all the elements are there, ready to go for an Acceleracers, you know, anything. Can we get something anyway? Um, that's the only relevancy to these wheels and that they're cool, new good wheels. I like them. They're fine. Um, here's some more variations Civics and RS is forward. Here's. Better news. Better news is the Accelerator CCG Expanded version 1.1. So enig enigmatic and the crew over there, um, including Valkyrie, Crazy Gamer, Waymint, and myself actually for this, and uh, a couple of others as well. There's a bunch of others in there. I'm not. It's it's a lot actually. I think General Kenobi's one. Uh, where's yes, General Kenobi, Michael the Bay. You know this is big big project. I'm gonna be linking this down below for you guys to play the card game. It comes with, let me see, it comes with 300 new cards from World Race, Velocity X, and Acceleracers. Um, so, I think these are the ones that were ready. Um, there's going to be a couple of other things that are going to be ready later. It also comes with music tracks from the community. Uh, Wayman, Acceleracers, Trinity, Project D, Nike, Nick's Core, Neil Stenson, Steve Rocket, Ball of Wax, and the Acceleracers soundtrack. This is basically the biggest expansion pack i've ever seen for for uh acceleracers card games so if y'all are really excited about this please go and give these guys their due they deserve it um i was glad to even do a little bit of help i'm glad i did this little bit you know i just did that little bit but everything else is them man everything else is them especially like the little coloring right there that's not me but the i just gave a template um, so please, 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 please go support this. It's it's amazing that they did this 300 cards. This was a fan project. You know, it's just World Race, guys. 20th anniversary, World Race. All right. Next on the news. So next on news is the Vert Wheeler Pop. It's, it's a fan. It's a fan pop. I commissioned it from uh, JBV Art. Amazing dude, amazing design here. I commissioned a World Race Vert Wheeler. Teku is coming tomorrow. Actually, it'll be today because you know what? I'll just show it. There she is in all her glory. A Vert Wheeler Tekuized version with uh, Air Mags, I've been told. 
I might be wrong. <laughs> Sorry if I'm not very shoe head worthy. I apologize. So there's a chase variant as well of that. Um, I just had to do the chase variant because it's so cool. Um, so I commissioned those from JB IV Art, IVV Art. So amazing, amazing commission. Um, couldn't have asked for anything better, honestly. This looks so cool. I, I want this in real part. I want this in real life right now. I want all of these. I want all four. So um, please also go to his page. You know, check him out. Give him some stuff. He does a lot of Spider-Man stuff, so he's very good. Commissions are still open. If you want to commission him for any of your accelerators, you know, now he has a little understanding of the uh, racing side, so I'm sure he would be open to accepting commissions, especially if you pay him right. I think he'll be good. So uh, go support him as well. And with that, let's continue with the news. I think it's time to end. I will see you later. This is 26 minutes. I'll probably edit it down so y'all aren't too bored. Peace out, guys, and uh, have a good day. Bye.